Okay, welcome to the first part of this tutorial. Um, we are going to look at the Prosper environment today. Today is just the introduction to Prosper. So Prosper is one of those softwares developed by the petroleum experts. It is used to model the well. Now Prosper, the, the petroleum expert software comes as a package. It includes Embal, which is used to model the reservoir. Gap, which is used in connection with Prosper and Embal to model the complete system. Now, Gap has facilities like service facilities which you can use in order to model the complete reservoir system, complete petroleum system. Now, we want to deal with just Prosper today, and um, today is just the introduction to the environment. I think the next tutorial will include an example on how to model how a well. Um, to study the properties of a well in a, one of, um, in a reservoir. Now let us look at the environment and introduction. If you look at my screen now, this is um, Prosper. We have Prosper version 11.5, then license number, and then this is in the IPM package. Okay, and then, um, okay, those ones. So we have the menu where we have file options, wizard, and that. The file option contains the normal things, you know. These are the normal things you know. The options. Now we have options: perforating, perforating gun, tubing database, casing database, pipe schedule. And then the wizard. The wizard is used. Um, the wizard is just like um, an automated system that helps you, that guides you through the entire process of um, simulation. If you want to simulate um, a well and you do not know what to do, you are a user for the first time, a first timer, you can just go through these and then it will guide you through the process. Then we also have the help and then all these things here. Now. If you look at the screen, you see that we have different sections. We have the option summary, we have the PVT data, we have the IPR data, and then we have the equipment data, the analysis summary, and then um, the Prosper 11.5 window. This one just basically contains um, just the information the about of Prosper. Okay, now there are two ways to open any of these sections. Like if you want to open this, or this, or this, or this, one of the ways is like to open the option summary, you either double click and then this window pops up. I can also open this window by coming to options and then clicking options. You see the same window pops up. Okay, now let us start. Looking at my screen, you'll find out that these other sections, the equipment, PVT, and IPR data, and um, analysis summary are all vacant because you have not set up the model now you have to set up the model here the options summary so let us start and look at the environment how it looks like okay now the system summary is up if you look at this window you find out that we have um, the fluid description the well description the artificial lift user information calculation type well completion and reservoir and then comment um, let us look at these sections briefly. The fluid description here you model, you tell the simulator the type of fluid you're expecting or the type of fluid you have in the reservoir you're going to produce through this well. Now, here we have oil and water, dry and wet gas, and retrograde condensate. So, if you're modeling a oil well, you use these for a gas well and then for a retrograde condensate well. Okay, that is that. And then the method is either a black oil simulation or compositional. If you're using black oil, then you choose these compositional, then you choose equation of state. But um, I'll prefer for compositional that you use PVTP, that is another petroleum engineering expert software for simulation. Okay, now we have um, a separator, emulsions, hydrate, water, viscosity, viscosity model. Now the viscosity model is basically Newtonian or non-Newtonian fluid. And then um, the water viscosity is either you use the default correlation which does not account for pressure changes or you use this correlation that correct for pressure. Okay, and then you can disable or enable warning for hydrates. That is, um, this is basically in a um, gas well if you're expecting hydrate formation. And then um, also emulsions, you can enable warning for this. So emulsion plus um, pump viscosity correction. Um, then your separator is it single stage or two stage separator. Now for the well, we have um, the the flow type, which can be tubing or annular or tubing plus annular flow. And then um, the well type, is your well a producer, is it an injector, is it a water injector? So we have injector and water injector. This one is basically surfactant and other types of um, fluid to be injecting into the reservoir. Now like I said, 
prosper is used to model the um, well so the well is used to produce from the reservoir so you basically you specify the type of well you want to hear this is just um like a summary of everything you're going to do this affects your data in that if you click down here you have some data coming up here some things coming up here and then um that basically defines your system okay now the next section is the um, artificial lift are you artificially lifting your well or is your well naturally flowing if it's naturally flowing then you leave this at none but if you're artificially lifting then you specify the particular method you're using to lift the well now we have gas lift continuous we have gas lift intermittent we have electrical submersible pump we have hydraulic drive down oil pump progressive cavity pump coal tubing gas lift diluent injection jet pump multi-phase pump soccer rod pump okay and all those so and then this is um the user information your information that is if you're doing this um simulation for a particular company you employ to do this um simulation and you can get their details and then fill the company name the field name location world and platform and then the analyst is yourself because you're the one doing the simulation now we come here the calculation type so we can um predict the pressure alone or the pressure and temperature for offshore or the pressure and temperature for onshore so you choose any of those or and the rough now the the model is it a rough approximation of these predictions or enthalpy balance or improved approximation these will show up if you have pressure and temperature for both onshore and offshore but if you have just pressure that option will not be available you see that okay so that's that and then we have um the range are you modeling for the entire system or for just the pipeline um you have to specify that the output do you want to show your calculation data or you want to add the calculation data now well completion what type of well completion do you have in, in place is it a cached all or a open all or an open all now we have sun completion do you have any mechanism to control the sun or uh, are you using a gravel pack a pre-packed screen a wire wrapped screen a slotted liner or you're using nothing and then the reservoir what type of inflow type no what type of inflow is it is it single branch or multilateral then I am um, real daily gas conning just specify this ones like I said this is a summary of everything you're gonna do so you need to specify this in order to do if you want to do a very simple model I think you just leave this at the default values and then you click done but if you're doing something complex then you have to specify you no know, change some of these sections depending on what you're doing but no we are not mo actually modeling anything today we're just looking at the environment so let's just click done and see what happens ha ha you see this comes up this comes up these these and okay so our window now is now complete like i said there are two ways to open this so to open this one is either you double click and this window pops up or you come here system equipment and the same window pops up now if you look at this you'll find out we have something like um input data the division survey surface equipment download equipment geothermal gradient average it capacity like i said prosper is used just to model the well so you will not need to model the surface equipment because actually it's uh, assumed that you're modeling this thing you're modeling this well and then you are join it you link it to gap to the well model in gap so there is no need modeling the surface equipment when actually you'll be linking to an already existing surface equipment so that is why you will not actually be using this one now if you look at this we have the division survey that is to show if your well is um horizontal vertical or deviated so you have to specify those data here anyway when we'll be doing um a simulation you'll actually see what is there now down all equipment what type of equipment do you have done all do you have um ssv um you have some restrictions do you have casings do you have um, tubings and all the stuff so you specify the depth the depth of those equipment now geothermal gradient what are the temperature ranges in um your uh well then the average aid capacities so you have to specify for water oil and gas and all the stuff okay so and then after that if you specify all this you can look at the summary and view all your equipment actually are and then you can disable surface equipment okay disable surface equipment yeah so okay so let's just leave that at that since you're doing nothing and then this one's 
this is the PVT data so like I said it's either you double click and this window pops up or you come here PVT input data then the same window pops up now if you look at this window you have some buttons done cancel tables this is on um, the table of your PVT that is if you have some PVT data already or um, like um, the pressure um, gas oil ratio compressibility viscosity and all this ones temperature pressure you can use that to match this thing and then to correct now we have some correlations here um, that you'll be using in order to calculate this man the formation volume factor the um, oil um, solution solution gas oil ratio and then the bubble points pressure and then the oil viscosity so these correlations we have um, standing let's all and all those ones and these are things we are assumed we assume that you know these things already you know these correlations so anyway okay we also have something like a match data that is after you've inputted the data here you come here and match them and you regress the correlations then when you match and you regress these things okay you you can then correct like uh, you'll be shown uh, how the parameters, the parameters, all these parameters and the different correlations, how the standard division between the parameters and um, the correlations and then from there you can choose the best correlation you use in order to for your model. Anyway when we solve an example tomorrow you'll understand what we're doing. So you come here you input your parameters and then the impurities in the system you have um, hydrogen um, sulfide we have carbon peroxide and then nitrogen gas so if you have impurities you have to input them here or you leave them at default if you leave them at zero that means there is no there are no impurities in the system you have to specify the solution gas oil ratio the oil gravity the gas gravity water salinity and if you notice here we have some units here and these are oil fuel units this is because um, if you come here my units is um, oil fuel so you can actually change that depending on where you are you know in our area we use all fuel units so if you're in Norway then you have to use Norwegian SI units and all these um, other ones I prefer to leave mine there because that's what we're using now we cannot open this because these will require this so um, but this is actually the IPR data the inflow performance relation here you'll calculate your skin you calculate the IPR that is um, you provide information and then the simulator will calculate that this is where you specify your reservoir the area the permeability the porosity and all those ones you specify those data here and the simulator will calculate that and draw the graph for you then I will help you and then this analysis is when you're doing sensitivity analysis you want to find out the problem maybe you've set up your model and you find out that it's not producing you want to find out what are the causes or perhaps it's producing and then you want to predict what if something like this happens what if the temperature drops to this particular value what if the pressure drops what if um, the tubing size changes what if I do this and all this analysis like that to know the potential problems the problems that might occur in your model and then you to cater for those problems before and that's the essence of simulation your ability to predict these things and then to put mechanisms in place to solve these problems before they become too complex is um, actually one of the things that are essential and one of the essential reasons why simulation is carried out so in order to assess this you either double click oh, sorry you come to calculation and then you see inflow IPR here and then we have that here we have system 3, 4 and multi variables that is what we have here system there are three, four multi variables. That's for IPR and VLP. We have gradient transverse. We have the VLP curves, three, four and multi variables. So that's what we have here. So clicking any of these should um, take you somewhere. And then um, anyone you select there, it will automatically select those things. Oh, okay. Anyway, that's just um, the introduction. Like I said, the wizard can help you do the, all of this if you do not understand. You just go the wizard will guide you but sometimes it gets confusing too so it's better you understand how these things work when we solve an example tomorrow you'll better understand and for now we'll leave you with that okay design this is when you're using any of this you need to come and design your gas lift system electrical submersible pump hydraulic pump and all those ones and output if you want to output your result 
you can actually output them here you export as um, one of those files PTF or text files SI and all those ones you can plot your result you need to can change your units here if you need all you come here matching you can error you can check the quality check that is if you have enough data if you don't have data then you leave those ones there and you can actually compare the correlation comparison all these ones you find them here pipeline matching generate for gap and then pipeline correlation comparison and all these ones so flip performance so that is the environment for you so thank you for watching I'll meet you tomorrow and then I'm hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to solve an example and I should hope you understand better thank you very much for watching